Hi there. Welcome to medical microbiology. Today, we will learn about taxonomy and classification. What is taxonomy? Taxonomy is the formal system used for organizing, classifying, and naming organisms. The system was originated by Carl van Linné. According to the system, organisms are grouped into taxon, the orderly arrangement of organisms. The highest level of taxons will be domain or kingdom. Domain or kingdom will include all organisms in this world. The lowest level of taxons will be species. Species is only a group of one type of organism. Example, human. So human is a species. We will use human for examples of taxonomy. So classification of humans will be like this. The highest level is domain, eh, which is human is included in domain eukarya. What is eukarya? Eukarya is a group for all organisms that have nucleus in their cell. So human has nucleus in his cells. Therefore, human is included in domain eukarya. Domain eukarya has several kingdoms. There are four kingdoms under eukarya domain. One of them is animalia. Okay, so human is included in animal, animalia kingdom. Kingdom of Animalia consists of several phylum. One of them is Chordata. Chordata is a group of organisms that have backbone. So human has backbone. Therefore, human is included in phylum Chordata. Phylum Chordata has several classes. One of them is mammalia. Mammalia is a group for animal that give birth. So human give birth. Therefore, human is included in class of mammalia. Class mammalia has several orders. One of them is primate, the highest order. This is a group for animal like human, chimpanzee, gorilla in this order. And then order primates has several families. One of them is family of hominoidea, which is family of human. And then the family has several genus or genera. One of them is called Homo. Homo means human. And then from this genus, the species of human that live in this world right now is only one species, which is Homo sapiens. Human sapiens. Sapiens mean wise or kind. So this is the classification of humans used as an examples of taxonomy. There are three domains of life in this earth. The first one is called domain bacteria. This domain includes all true bacteria. Bacteria that live in normal environment, bacteria that also can cause disease, 
they are parasite so including included in this domain the second domain is archaea archaea is for odd bacteria which is bacteria that live in extreme environmental condition like for example bacteria that live in hot spring water so archaea they they are mostly non-parasite so they are free living bacteria the third domain is eukarya so eukarya is the domain for all organism that has nucleus and organelles in their cell including human over here so all animal all plants fungi okay will be included in this eukarya domain there are five kingdoms of organism the first kingdom is kingdom monera this kingdom monera is for all bacteria so bacteria is a group of organisms that do not have nucleus so all of them will be in the same kingdom which is kingdom monera the next kingdoms okay number two three four and five will be for organism that has nucleus okay so there are four kingdom over here for organism that have nucleus okay so the second kingdom is called the kingdom protista this is for primitive organism that is really difficult to tell whether this is animal or plant okay because they have some characteristic of animal and some char characteristic of plant therefore kingdom protista is grouped into two types the first one is called protozoa okay which is protista that have characteristic of animal so it's close to the animal organism okay, so they able to move for example they able to swim they able to uh, eat for example so this is protozoa the second group of protista is called algae this group has characteristic of plants like for example they are able to do photosynthesis they have chloroplasts they have cell wall okay so this is algae protista that very similar to plants the third kingdom is kingdom fungi okay kingdom fungi this include mushroom yeast and molds and then the fourth kingdom okay, is kingdom plantae so this is include all the trees plant bushes grasses and etc and the last kingdom is the kingdom animalia this is include all animals whether invertebrate or vertebrate whether they have backbone or no backbone so including included in this kingdom animalia the next one is about the rules in naming organism it's called the rules in nomenclature naming organism each organism has two names. Okay, it's very important. 
So each organism has two names, first name and second name. So this system is called a binomial system. Okay, binomial system. By mean two, nomial mean name. So two names. The system that gives two names for each organism. The first name is the genus name. It has to be capitalized. So it has to start with capital letter. So the first name start with capital letter. Like our name start with capital letter, right? So this is for the first name of species, okay? And then the second name, which is species name, it start with lowercase, okay? So the first name start with capital letter. The second name or the, you know, start with lowercase. Both name must be italicized size or underline. So you have to choose one of these, not both of them. Okay, whether idle size or underline. Examples: human. Okay, human is a organism, a species. So the name of the scientific name of human is Homo sapiens. Two name, but right? Homo is the first name, sapiens is the second name. Look at this. The first name, remember, start with capital letter. The second name start with lowercase. Both name are ital italicized, okay, in type in italic. Okay. Another example is the name of the skin bacteria, bacteria that live on our skin, Staphylococcus aureus. Look at this, the first name start with capital letter, the second name start with lowercase. Both names are italicized. size. Right. So this is the rule. So when you type or write a scientific paper and you put the species name, organism name, then you have to follow this rule. Okay, you follow this binomial system rule. I think that's enough for this lecture. And this lecture also end chapter one. So just reminder, chapter one has four lectures. The first lecture is introduction to microbiology the second lecture is scientific methods the third lecture is discoveries in microbiology and the fourth lecture which is this lecture is taxonomy and classification so make sure you watch all four lectures for chapter one I will see you again on the next lecture. Goodbye.